great. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, good bunch of people. They're, uh, you know, gelled well together both on and off the field. They're, I think they enjoy each other's company. There's a good com camaraderie. I think with so many changes of faces, um, you know, it's all been freshened up. And uh, there's a bit of an excitement about, you know, all the, these new guys getting to know each other and, you know, new faces in here and some young faces and, and a number of faces, you know, uh, you know, just size of squad, I think. But they've, um, they've been really good together. Uh, it's the time of the year, uh, you know, with, without the pressures of winning and losing, you know, it, it's an enjoyable time and not as high pressured time for both coaches and, and players at this stage of the year. But uh, all that's changing in the next little while and, you know, we'll get some different pressures of team selections and, you know, lack of form or good form or disappointments of selections and, yeah, all those challenges ahead. I like the skill level of these guys. They've been combining well together. I like some of, you know, the way they've been able to attack and some of their skills and, you know, um, how we how we defend against other teams that'll be tested over the next few weeks as well but i certainly think there's some good skill level with the ball in particular and some of our kicking game and i think we've got some talent there and some options there and yeah it's um some exciting prospects in the future you know some of our our uh, fresh faces should i call it um may not have the reputations of some some others that have been recruited into our sport and into our competition this year, but um, I'm pretty sure they, they're young people who want to make a name for themselves and want to be that rep, build that reputation that some of these others have built over over the years. So ambition's a big thing, and we're going to be relying on you know a lot of these guys' ambition to become great over over the next coming weeks. One of the big assets is is positivity. Um, he's just such an upbeat guy, you know, it's infectious. You know, rarely have I ever seen him without a smile on his face. And, you know, you can talk about anything with him and he's, he can see the positive side of it. And um, that's, that's a tremendous attribute and uh, it's a tremendous acquisition for, for a coach to get somebody to come in of with his experience and to be so positive about uh, even when things might go a little bit wrong in training or in certain situations he puts a positive spin on it and how that's going to be good for us so you know I think that's been a big influence um, I think also the other part is his communication skills on the on the field both on and off the field but particularly on the field has has been set a really great example for many around him uh, and the levels and the, the levels and of his uh, communication in terms of uh, defensively in particular when it's most needed um, you know probably sets him apart from most people within the game I think um, so yeah he, he, he's got a lot to teach us and um, you know I think we've been good for him as well uh, you know he, he's got a a freshness about him as well because of all these young guys that he's you know he's mentoring as well as as playing alongside I'd like I'd like to think so but only time will tell we're going to do that uh, by being competitive each and every week and uh, we'll we'll try and do that I'm pretty confident that I've got a group of players here who will go out and give their best each and every week and that's all I can ask of anybody and and hopefully we've got the right people to do that. Um, you know, I'm confident that they are attitude right. But it depends how our, our combinations come together. But you know, we'll get out there and give it our best shot each and every week. And, and uh, while well, having my players focus on that and my coaching staff and the staff, you know, well, everybody here uh, focus on giving their all, I think um, that's what our supporters are about. You know, the, they follow a team, whether they're successful or not, in terms of, of score lines. I think they do as long as their team gives it their all. And, um, you know, we're going to hopefully portray those that trait um, so as to make our supporters proud and also hopefully entertain them at the same time. I hope it is. I hope. I hope that it brings some more rugby league to rugby league. 
Um, I hope we play a bit more. I hope some of that talent, you know, uh, I think I think we're, in the last few years we've probably got into a bit of predictability about our game and um, and probably lost some of its pizzazz and um, attacking skills. And that's one of the things that's, you know, always attracted me to, to Super League and, and Rugby League in this part of the world is the fact that it prepared to um, take some risk and attack and offload and, and and play the game in a slightly different manner and um, to you know the conservative and, and, and defense um, dominated uh, sort of style but you know that's not to say have poor defense I'm not suggesting that but they have a bit more risk taking within our sport and that it's become a little conservative and a little predictable and I'm hoping with some of these talented players and talented um, additions to the competition that we get a, a bit more free-flowing and a bit more attacking and a bit more risk-taking uh, within our sport because um, you know uh, I think I think it's us us coaches who you know ultimately become try not to lose rather than try to win and um, it's up to the lawmakers and the the uh, within our sport to protect us from from that but there is a there is still an onus for us to make sure that we are entertaining and it is an entertaining sport and we're making you know the right sort of uh, decisions tactically in order to attract people to our sport because otherwise you know at the end of the day we don't want to be turning out and and watching you know uh, playing in front of empty stands and uh, it's really important to us so the way we go about it as teams and clubs we need to have a an approach where we want to entertain and we want to get more people through the gate and not just win games. Um, we want to do that as well. I hope they see a tough team. I really do. And, um, you know, I hope they see a tough team that tries hard every week and um, you know, hopefully is able to entertain at times, you know, more often than not. Um, uh, hopefully it's a, it, it's a team that doesn't give in at any stage, whether they're in front or behind. You know that just plows on through, and um, you know we're, we're we're trying to make our people, the people that we we play for, proud. Um, we want to be proud of our badge, but you know we want to represent them and um, and make sure that we're hard, hardworking and, and honest about the way that we go about our rugby league. And um, you know we'll see how far that takes us then.